Thanks, Jamie. Well, gift card scams have skyrocketed. Numbers from the Better Business Bureau show the scams doubled in the first three quarters of this year compared to last year. And here's how the scam works. You want to buy something from someone online, but the seller then requests a prepaid debit card payment card rather than Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle. Countless consumers have been ripped off, and the problem is so bad the BBB has released a study to educate the public. So, of course, we have Sarah Wetzel with the BBB to explain those key takeaways from their research. And good morning, Sarah. Good morning. So let's just break this all down. How does this all happen with these scams on credit cards or uh, gift, gift cards? cards? Yes. So the big thing is just remembering that these gift cards are just in the name. It's supposed to be meant as a gift. And so whenever you hear of somebody asking for gift cards as a payment, that should be a red flag. Uh, you alluded to online shopping. People may tell you that they want, to, they want you to be paid by gift cards. That's a red flag. But also, scammers are getting really, really, really smart. And they're saying things like, hey, we're with a government agency. We're with a business. We want to be paid by gift cards. If it was a government agency, sometimes they're saying that there's taxes owed. Um, some are even being told that they've won sweepstakes or lottery winnings and that there's a fee that needs to be paid before they get their winnings and that has to be paid via gift card. So just being very aware of everything that's going on. Better Business Bureau received more than 4,000 reports to Scam Tracker in the last three years. We work very closely with the FTC and in this study that you mentioned, FTC has said in the last three years they've had reports of people losing $690 million <gasps> alone to these gift card scams. So oh my goodness. a lot of money. Yeah, I was just going to ask how much money, you know, are we talking? You yes. said 960 million? 690. 690. Yes. Okay, okay. I got my, I got my letters yes. or numbers confused, but so true, a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. money. Yes. So what do you recommend for people to really catch these scams right when it's happening in yeah. front of them? Well, just be very, very wary of anybody asking for payment via gift cards, especially if it's a business or a government agency that's not even connected to the gift card that they're asking for. And if it's a government agency, they've said that they are never going to ask for gift cards as payment. So just know that and, and, and beware of that. And then if you are being contacted and it seems off, contact the gift card seller, contact the business or government agency yourself, do the research and find out who you need to contact. Don't trust whoever you're talking to. Keep all the records of buying that gift card, whether it's a receipt or the numbers or anything like that. And then if you do find out that you're part of a scam, act immediately. Call the number on the back of that gift card mm -hmm. um, and that way hopefully you can try and get something going. And then also report it. That's the biggest thing. We're yep. trying to catch these scammers. So contact Better Business Bureau, report it to our scam tracker or the FTC. We need to know how these scams are happening so we can try to prevent them. Okay, great information. Thank you so much, Thank Sarah. You. Great information. Time for the holidays, <laughs> yes. too. Okay, up next on the Power of Two, if you have a Google Mail account, it could be deleted if you don't take this one step.